If you have a Garmin GPS and Garmin Basecamp loaded on your Windows computer, you're in the right place to learn how to create routes in Basecamp. In fact, I'll show you four ways to create routes. Hi, welcome back. I'm Easy Moto Tim. Garmin Basecamp has a reputation for being difficult to use. It doesn't operate the same way as Google Maps, but it's very powerful and has the distinct advantage of not needing to be connected to the internet when you're using it. Before watching this video, you should have watched the overview and general setup videos. Now I know you bought your Garmin GPS so you could create routes that lead you where you want to go. Let's look at four ways you can create routes. The routes are going to be simple, point A to point B. Here we are in Basecamp. The area over on the left is where our data is displayed. At the top we have library and in that library is our database called YouTube New. If you have a fresh installation of Basecamp, the database will be called My Collections. I have a video on using and managing databases, so take a look at that later. In the database, you store your waypoints and routes, and you can create folders first, and I'm going to create a new folder. I did a right-click Create, and I'm going to call it Sample Routes. And within that folder, I'm going to right-click add a new list and call it Sample Route 1. Now you can store waypoints and routes in lists. You cannot store waypoints or routes in folders. Now in this video, we want to look at four ways to create routes. Very simple. So here's the first way. We're going to click on the New Route button. It's three squares. That brings up a dialog box. And we can select the map we want to use and the activity profile. This is set for the most current map that I have and for the motorcycling profile. It says we can drag a start point or a destination point, but we don't have any waypoints created yet. So we're going to use the search box. And I want to go from New Braunfels, Texas, to Amarillo. Now here's New Braunfels in the drop-down. And it, I'm picking that one that says it's the city. Notice what happened. Here on the map, we have a green dot for New Braunfels. And in the list, we have the waypoint for New Braunfels. Now I'm going to search for Amarillo, Texas, and select the city from the drop-down. And that added that waypoint to our sample Route 1 list. And then I'm going to click Go. That creates the route and brings up this box, which is the route detail list. I want you to always return to the hand so that you can move the map around with your mouse. I'm going to close the route detail list and right click on the route and show on map. And there you see the route from New Braunfels to Amarillo. It's highlighted and there are arrows on it to show you the direction. Now if you're on a different item, such as a waypoint, the route is not highlighted, it's dim. So when you click on the route, you activate it, it is highlighted. If you're on a different point, you could also click on the route to highlight it. That activates it. If you double click in the list, you bring up the detail box. The same is true if you double click on the route on the map. Now in the details box, you can change the name of the route. You can change the 
uh, activity profile and you can change the color of the route as it's displayed on the map. I'm going to close that. So that's our first way. I'm going to right click and delete that route. Now the second way we will click on the new route box and that brings up the dialog box. Now we have uh, waypoints in our list and we can drag New Braunfels to the start point and Amarillo to our destination and click go. And we'll calculate it. It brings up the uh, route detail box. I'm going to change its color. And there you see the route highlighted on the map. So that's our second way. Let's delete that route. Let's look at the third way. I'm going to click on Amarillo and control click on New Braunfels, then right click create route using selected waypoints. And it creates the route, but notice that the arrows are pointed down. It went from Amarillo to New Braunfels instead of the other way around because I clicked on Amarillo first and New Braunfels second. Now to change the direction of the route, there's two ways. You can right click on the route and invert the route then it goes the other way. Or double click to open the route details box and click the invert button and that will change it direction in the opposite direction. Now I'm going to delete the route and we'll look at the fourth way. Now for this we click the new route button and we close the dialog box. Our cursor changes to a pencil. I'm going to roll my mouse wheel in and zoom in. Now I want to caution you, don't click to move the map. Every time you click you're going to create a point on the route. So let's click here and then on route 46 and move the map with the arrows. Don't try to move the map with the mouse or it will create a point where you don't want it. Click there and then I'm going to roll out and go up to Amarillo, zoom in, and click on a point there in Amarillo. And then be sure to go back to the hand because every time you click it'll be a new point and you won't be happy with that. So right click, show on map to see the whole route. So that's the way you use your mouse to click point to point to point on your route. Now let's say we want to put that route on our GPS. I'm going to break here and plug in my GPS. All right, the GPS is connected and it shows up in Basecamp in a section called Devices. And we have our internal storage on the device and our internal storage on the SD card. Now to put this route on the GPS, we have three ways. We can click and drag the route to one of the storage locations, or we can go to device, send to device, send the selection to the device. When you click on that, it will copy it to the GPS. The third way is to go to file, export, export the selection. When you click on that, it'll open up the File Explorer and it will save a GPX file and you can manually copy that GPX file to your GPS or to the infotainment system on your bike. Now let's recap 
the four ways to create routes. A very simple way. The first way, click on the new route, bring up the dialog, and search for your beginning point and your destination point. The second way, click on the new route and drag a waypoint to the beginning and another waypoint to the destination. The third way is to click on a waypoint, control click on the destination waypoint, right click, create route using selected waypoints. And the fourth way is to use the route tool, close the dialog, and click from point to point to point to point to point to create your route with your mouse and pointing. Remember to go back to the hand. There you go. Four simple ways to create routes in Basecamp. Those are just the starting points. In the next video, we'll modify the routes we create. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up so YouTube will suggest this video to others. Remember to look for other videos in this series. If you want to support the channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Also, many thanks to those who have bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.